Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessabo and you are joining me for a new little mini series. This is a create a sim slash speed build series that is based on characters and homes from the 3DS game Story of Seasons. I am in love with that game, period. I love Harvest Moon and it's the newest, you know, actual Harvest Moon game, so because uh, Lost Valley didn't count. Just so we're clear, there's a bunch of legal mumbo jumbo. But um, anyway, so we're starting off with Miss Ida, who, um, if you've ever played, the, if you've never played the game, then let me explain. When you first start the game, the first week that you're there before you move into the farm that you won in the contest, you actually spend a week with Miss Ida, learning the basics of farm life and um, getting to know the characters around town, getting to know the, you know, the paths through the forest and stuff. So. I felt it was a good place to start since it's the first character that you actually meet. So <clears throat> this is not going to be an exact um, replica of Miss Ida, basically. This is not going to be exact. Neither is her house. I, it's The Sims. I did the best that I could, but uh, I thought that the clothes that I chose here and the you know nice floppy sun hat really suited her pretty well. I gave her a little bit of makeup. I didn't go too strong because it just, you know, too much makeup just really didn't suit her. But uh, I named her Ida Seasons because I could not think of a better last name, and a last name is never mentioned in the game as far as I know. Um, in the next video in this series, which I'll be recording the voiceover for fairly soon, I actually create the main characters, you know, your characters. I create both the female and male sims, and I give them the last name Moon, which I took from Harvest Moon, even though it's not you know, called Harvest Moon. So, anyways, uh, I went with kind of some uh, greens in, I think, most of her outfits. I go with something that has a little bit of green, and I think it, yeah, I think it works pretty well, you know, kind of harvesty. If I was playing her, what I would probably do is take her into cast, age her down into an adult, spend her entire, you know, her adult life working on that gardening skill and all of that kind of stuff. And then once she aged into an elder, maybe take in some younger sims and kind of share your craft with them, share all of that uh, gardening knowledge that you've learned. But anyways, we're going to jump over here into Newcrest, into that lot, and this is the... Um, I don't remember what the freaking lot is called. Anyways, but you saw it there on the map. That's the one that I used. Um, I did change what money she had because I knew that that was not going to be enough for her home. I started off with 30000 It does end up costing quite a bit more than that. I have to add more money into her funds later on. Um, I did go with the basics of what her house had, uh, as far as the you know two bedrooms off of each side and then in the center there was you know a nice big living area where her kitchen living room dining room and all of that was now because in the game they don't have TVs or anything like that I did add that kind of stuff in um, as well as bathrooms I added a bathroom into each one of the bedrooms so now I do start off the orientation of the lot I start off with it um, kind of long uh, long ways instead of the I don't know what <sighs> my first instinct is to say I started off with it landscape instead of portrait as far as the way the lot orientation is so I'm just gonna say that I do change that at the very end of the video so you guys will see that later but I went with the straw roof because from the from what I saw in my game and the, the pictures that I googled that is the way it looked so it's not exact nor is the um, siding and brick here but it's it's close enough that I felt like it fit pretty well so I did some landscaping, but, you know, I kind of felt that it, um, you know, as you grow your plants, maybe you grow some on the um, pathway leading up to the door, maybe you plant some rose bushes or something like that. I feel like that's, with her being the person that she is, I felt like a gardener would, you know, the landscaping, you would add that as you planted more things in game so the landscaping is slightly sparse I do add a little but that is the reason for that um oh I did I changed to this roofing I forgot about that <clears throat> but um 
I, I believe that in the pictures that I looked up, now I recorded this days ago, so I'm not 100% sure, but I believe the door was green and the windows were wood, so, oh yes, the frustrations of land, uh, of terrain tools, let me tell you, oh. Um, yeah, just adding a little dirt around the edges of the house. I added some hedges because I thought that looked kind of cute. Some flowers next under the windows, nothing too major. Just enough to kind of give it a finished feel on the outside. I don't know what I go to next. Do I go inside? Yeah, the, the um, bathrooms are there at the back of each of the bedrooms. They're both full bathrooms. I gave him kind of an older feel because I feel like this is a home that she's lived in for a long time. It was made, you know, everything was done years ago. So I felt like, you know, kind of going with some classic fixtures and such kind of suited what I was going for with her. So mm. Ah, yes. Now we're jumping into the actual garden where you would grow your crops. Um, let's see, yes, 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 yes. I start off with all of those. Um, I put a few pots next to the house just so you can, you know, maybe plant um, a couple of apple trees or a couple of lemon trees or just whatever, basically. Um, I tried to go as close to what was in her house as possible, and of course I forgot that, oh, there we go, okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, there's no, you know, big square table, so that really, I kept deleting the rooms. I don't know if I did it more than once in this one, but I know in a lot of the builds that I had done off screen as well recently, I kept deleting rooms by accident. But there's no big square table. Um, if you guys have ever played The Sims 1, you remember the big blue and white table that was a, it was square, but it was very large. That would have been perfect in wood, but we didn't, I didn't have anything like that. Um, uh, in the game, she had a lot of, like, crates, like, produce would come in and such around her house, and thankfully we did have something I felt like represented that pretty well. Uh, I do change that yellow rug, I am fairly certain. <laughs> So, oh, because it was ugly. It really was. But see, as you can see, I went with kind of older fashioned furnishings and lighting fixtures and stuff like that. It just, it really suited the house better. It just, see, I deleted the room again. Oh, that was driving me crazy. It didn't seem to matter what I did. Um, on her walls, she had this big, I think it was green wallpaper with yellow flowers, or it may have been yellow with, I don't remember, but that is a pretty good likeness to what was on her walls in the game. So um, now we're jumping into the first bathroom, which is the bathroom. Um, this is not the master bedroom or bathroom. The master bedroom is the other one. This is the one that you actually stay in in the game for your first week. So um, I did, I added a lot of the clutter and such, uh, that was frustrating me, I couldn't get it close enough to the wall, it was driving me mad, but, um, oh yeah, somebody had downloaded or favorited or uploaded something, sorry about that, but, <clears throat> um, I went with these small, almost, it's almost like the other, it's small tiles and the, uh, differences in the colors kind of gives it a speckled effect, I, added wall lights, and, um, where am I going now? <clears throat> ah, yes, I remember. Um, I had a little painting of sunflowers, because I felt like it kind of suited her personality. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, trying to figure out which cabinets work the best, and how to get that one in the corner where I need it. It took me forever, but I did finally get it in there. Um, this is the first time I've actually done the, um, what you call exhaust fan or the vent above the stove with a, the small cabinet on top of it. I don't usually mess with them because they always frustrate me. I think it turned out really, really well. I'm really pleased with the way her kitchen turned out looking. It's, 
I really like it. Um. <laughs> oh, yes. The choices of rugs. Oh, Lord. I was going crazy trying to pick the right rug because she had a, you know, a, a rug in there um, running along in front of her kitchen. So I needed one there and nothing seemed to want to be long enough or work just right. Now, I left the reason that that bed is away from the wall like that is because in the game, that's how it is. There's a bed and behind it is the bookshelf and then there are little, you have your toolbox and your storage box and I wanted to go as close as I could to the representation because, you know, I loved it. I'd love to really, you know, I think I'm going, once I finish doing, you know, several more of the houses, I think I am going to do some playing in this world. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do or, you know, all of that, but here I'm looking for the freaking calendar because that's one big thing that's, you know, pretty big in all, um, all of the Harvest Moon games is uh, your calendar because it's how you keep track of everybody's birthdays and certain events and stuff. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the wood paneling that is on the walls in the bedrooms. However, that is what is in the walls in the game. So I went with that. I did not go with the um, parquet wood flooring in there like is in the game. I went with carpet because I could not take that much wood. I can deal with the wood paneling but not wood flooring or parquet wood flooring too. I don't like it. Um... Uh, let's see, what am I doing now? Oh yeah, I'm just kind of adding a few little skill objects into that, into the house there. Yeah, I see I add a, a bit more money now, and now I'm doing the master bathroom, and I went with a kind of soft pink theme in this bathroom, and I really think it suited um, the character pretty well. I feel like she's, you know, she's an old lady, she's had a long life, I, I imagine, I know she has a son in the game. Um, so, of course, she was married at some point, and I feel like the soft pink was just her. She's so sweet and caring, and it just, yeah. I, I She's one of my favorite characters in the game. So, again, I used lots of little cluttery things to make it look like it was an actual working bathroom. I haven't playtested this house, but I ha did not, I don't think I ever even turned on move objects, so... You shouldn't have any issues with it. I am slightly worried about that towel rack that's next to the shower in the master bathroom. So let me know if that doesn't work. But um, I did put a double bed in her room. Uh, even though in the game I don't think her bed was a double bed. I put a double bed in there just in case. If you want to play with her as an adult and you know have her meet you know a nice husband and work on her gardening. Well then you have a double bed to work with. So, ah oh yes, the trouble of rugs. I... Prob Every time you see me pause, by the way, guys, most likely what I'm doing is I'm checking the Google images on what I had of her house, or no, I watched, I was watching a Let's Play of the game, so that, and I had it paused on where I could see Edith's house, so, um, and I was watching the Let's Play of Gamer Chick, by the way, if you guys want to check her out. But I highly suggest that you get this game, it is a amazing and uh, I I am absolutely, absolutely in love with it. So I put the little gardening tools in the bedroom because, if I'm not mistaken, she's the one who gives you your first set of gardening tools in the game. And I thought that that added a little touch of, uh, you know, realism to it. She has her own set of gardening tools that I believe I put outside, um, out front. So... <clears throat> I put the little shoe uh, rack there because, you know, I feel like you that's you, you need somewhere to keep your clothes. I was just, like I said, I'm trying for clutter and realism. It just adds something to it. Normally I leave the clutter out so that you guys can put in whatever you want, but adding the clothes rack on the wall and the shoe rack below it, I felt, you know, that did it. Oh, and I finally found the stupid little thing with the calendar with it. <laughs> So, I added some pots to the wall, but I scooted the trash can down because I felt like it was really strange to have the pots hang right above the trash can. I added an exterior trash can, added a little thing where her gardening hat and her dual, you know, her little outdoor jacket would go. So, now we're going to be jumping into, that's me just showing her off in her house. Now I'm going to change the orientation of the lot. I do that, delete yeah, there we go. I turn it around and just rebuild the fenced gardening area. 
um, just so it kind of is from the back of the house. I think I used the landscaping paint to add a little path going to it as well, but what am I doing? Oh, I accidentally hit page down and went to the basement, which was non-existent. Oh, yep, yeah, that's the other time I add some money. So that should be it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.